You told uh, you told us that the last Swiss that you played was 13 year was in '93. Um, why why this come back into this format? Uh, what was this journey like? It's not like I was uh, opposed to playing Swiss events. It's just that um, uh, somehow for many many years round robins were the only attractive events around. And but recently a couple of attractive Swiss events have come up. So and you can see already that many participants open to playing. So it's not. Like I had some fundamental objection, it's just that's the way it turned out. Yeah, now this is quite interesting because for a long time we did not have the top elite players participating in uh, Swiss Opens. But like you said, there's almost like this movement where they're uh, playing suddenly in this, uh, in this format. Now does that only have to do with the fact that you've got these new attractive events? Or is it also something of like a challenge or, you know, because you're playing amongst each other most of the time and... Uh, it's like a comfort zone, but then do you, do you miss the unpredictability or the challenge of it? Does that have anything to do with it? Probably people are curious for a new experience. They're looking forward to something like that. But uh, mostly it's because there are nice, new, attractive Swiss uh, that you can choose from. And do you see this uh, becoming something of a trend with more and more people participating in such tournaments? Yes, I think that trend is well established. Uh, what will happen is uh, if um, the Swiss tournaments get well established and maybe one or two more uh, join in, then they'll just become a regular part of the calendar. And what about you, for pers personally for you, what are the, do you see any challenges after playing, uh, after not playing in this format for so many years? Do you personally feel any challenges of coming back to this? I'm not obsessing about the format too much. I mean, I, I, I go there, play a game, try to play a good game, and in the end, it's only about uh, how well you play, whether it's around Robin or Swiss or a knockout or whatever. It really comes down to how well you play, but uh, of course there are features of a Swiss tournament. There are a lot of people who post very high scores, and uh, so it's, it's a different kind of vibe to a round robin, and so I'll definitely have to make some adjustments. You won the World Juniors in 87, in 1987, mm -hmm. and uh, got your Grandmaster title then. So you've kind of been at the top of the chess level and seen the whole transition of the game starting from almost a time when the computers did not exist, going through that phase, computers becoming strong, also chess becoming younger, you've, and you've maintained your level at the very, very top amongst all this all these phases so how was the journey adapting yourself to all these changes and what was what was your uh, feeling about this well it's a gradual process first of all so you just uh, you adapt at every stage to whatever is necessary uh, the most important thing is to be willing to learn and to uh, willing to uh, change uh, methods even even your favorite ones i mean if you like doing things a certain way, but there's a new way of doing things. You have to force yourself to learn. But I also find that interesting about chess. It uh, keeps the game interesting. Every time there's a new way of doing things, uh, you discover a lot about uh, yourself, about uh, chess. Otherwise, it would get boring. So I must say, uh, if, you, if you have that attitude, then uh, uh, it helps you to adapt to these changes. Keeping things interesting. After all these, all these years uh, in the game, what gives you motivation to continue to be playing at this level at the top and keeping your energy going and after doing everything and achieving pretty much everything? I enjoy playing chess, and which is the only reason to go on. There's, uh, you can't do it, um, you can't talk yourself into it. You, you must uh, enjoy playing chess and I, I still do. I still want to play and I want to see how it goes. When that's the case, then uh, you simply look forward to tournaments. After knowing so much about the game, how do you still work on it? What is it left to learn? I think people confuse uh, knowledge and proficiency at the chessboard. So you can, you can win a game, but it doesn't mean you understood everything that happened very well. I mean, if you keep analyzing something, uh, you will find that there are many things that you missed, but maybe your opponent missed a lot of stuff as well, and that compensated, you won the game. So there are people who are ridiculously good at playing chess, but it doesn't mean that they know everything about the game. So the game has so many levels and so many layers that uh, you'll always find new things to learn. And as you learn new stuff, it expands your vision everywhere. It's funny, like maybe 10, 15 years ago, we started to have the thing just at the early uh, introduction of computers, and, uh, I mean, strong engines into the game. People started to say, well, is it going to be, I'm going to have the, the, the draw again and so on. But we're finding out that chess, in fact, uh, far from going that direction, is becoming more interesting. Um, and it seems that there's a hell of a lot more to discover. And that's what I mean. Things you didn't know just appear suddenly in front of you. And you think, my God, I was, uh, I believe the opposite 
for so many years. I based my entire uh, approach to the game on something and now it turns out you can do it just differently. I never thought of this move, I never thought of that move. Computers have shown that chess is so incredibly deep. Of course, it's annoying that they are so strong, but uh, in a way it's helpful as well. You have um, the strongest player in the world ready to sit in your room and work for you anytime. That kind of helps. Chess can keep surprising you and it, uh, when it stops doing that, then maybe it's time to uh, worry about the game, but right now it just seems so incredibly interesting.